Hello, and welcome to my humble abode, Darren Sharp and for the Minnesota Vikings, bringing you NBC Sports to show you how I stay so young and preserve my sexy. Well, when I come home from work, the main thing I eat, desserts to go, Cinnabon. Actually, this is a 7-Up cake. What am I saying Cinnabon? 7-Up cake. No, I don't eat that. That's just my dessert for after the game. I come in the house, give me a bottle of water, and then I go to my hyperbaric chamber. And at first, the initial thing you have to do, because it is hooked up to the thing, you have to turn it on. So right here we have a compressor that pretty much you know, pumps the air. There's a little bit of filter air that it pumps inside of the, the chamber. Um, and it also has a compressor to it, so it, it fills up the air with filtered air. Turn it on, it's like a, a pump motor type of thing, whatever. And then also you have the oxygen concentrate, which is an oxygen um, unit that pumps pure refined oxygen or pure oxygen. I guess oxygen is pure, but pure oxygen into the chamber. So I climb up on here. I'm on, it's on the bed so I can be more comfortable as you know. You have to sleep in it, so you have to be comfortable. Screw it in. Oh, this is a little bit of the process. This is probably the toughest part of it. It's getting inside. If, I'm, if I don't have anyone here with me, which I usually don't because I'm a bachelor, uh, I have to zip it up myself. And I go and get inside of it. Y'all have to throw me a towel. It takes about four minutes for it to inflate and become pressurized. Can't hear me okay? Uh, I usually will stay in it for about two and a half hours. You have to gradually build yourself up the time that you can stay inside of the chamber. You start off around 30 minutes, then 45 minutes, and then next you go an hour and then continue up. But I'll stay in it approximately two and a half hours uh, a day. I have a slight bit of claustrophobia in me, but uh, after the second time I got in it, I was cool. And I was straight now, pretty much used to it. I can, I can stay in it overnight if I wanted to. Just kind of, when you get inside here, you just have to make yourself relax and just breathe. And you feel a whole lot better. We I and I arrived. You know, when I really decided to purchase one it was last year when I first arrived in Minnesota, uh, beginning of the season, I hurt my knee. And one of our trainers, Mark Ellis, told me about the hyperbaric chamber as far as it helps your recovery, it helps you heal a lot faster, any injuries that you might have. And that's all I need to hear. It's a compression of, of filtered air and you're in a, in a uh, like I said, a chamber. You're, you're constantly, the time you're, that you are in there, you're breathing uh, purified air, air that has a higher uh, quality or quantity of oxygen in it. And that's that, while you're doing that, I believe it's your white blood cells, white blood cells that are more uh, increased, and that was, those are the blood cells that help with a lot more with healing and um, prevention prevention of injuries. I'm, I'm, I'm 30 now, and I'm in the 10th year of my league, and I'm still playing, <laughs> still playing well. Uh, it, it definitely was beneficial to me last year because after I got hurt, I was able to bounce back and, and get back on the field a lot quicker. Being 30. Uh, and, and had a pretty productive year with the Pro Bowl. Um, so, you know, I, I definitely think it benefit, benefited me on the football field. What I usually do is after work, uh, either I'll get in the chamber for about two and a half hours, I have dinner, you know, watch a little TV, uh, and, and take it to bed. But it's pretty much a daily ritual. That every time I come home from work, I get in it for a couple of hours to kind of refresh myself uh, before, before I eat and before I go to sleep at night. And then also, on the weekends uh, is when I stand there a lot longer, like Friday, Saturday, and days leading up to the football game. I'll stand there for uh, maybe close.